I, I am a relatively nice person, but I have had to become hard in certain areas. Yes. Because when God first started blessing my life, I was too sensitive. I almost had to make a decision. I said, maybe I don't want this. Because of all the backlash and lies and all the stuff that comes with, with, with doing what you love. See, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I learned something about groups. The level that you're on, the people on that level, they don't want to let you go. They don't. So they try to tell you all the reasons why you don't want to go to the next level. Now, you don't want to do that. You don't, right. look, they, they act funny up there on that level. You, you don't want to mess with them. Come on, stay down here with us. And, you know, let's just hang with the boys and hang with the crew and let's just chill. You're trying to hold me back. And it can be hard to release yourself from that environment. Am I right? It's hard. Sometimes you got to leave friends behind, family members behind. But I learned something when I got saved. Not success. When I got saved, all the people I thought were my friend, I couldn't find them anymore. All right. The only reason, the only time I could find them is they say, hey, you want to go out and party with me? No, I don't want to go party. Well, well, then I lose them again. Why? Because you're not really my friend if you can't handle my favor. Amen. You're not really my friend if you can't handle my change. You're not really my friend if you can't deal with me becoming a better person. Tired of waking up wondering where in the world I am. Tired of waking up wondering who in the world I was with last night. Tired of waking up trying to figure out where am I? Is it morning or is it not? Y'all looking at me so funny. If you can't So favor is going to bring, can I say it, haters. Yes, yes. And I almost said, maybe I don't want this because, because I haven't done anything to anybody. But just because I want to change, just because I want to pursue my passion, there are other people who don't like it. And this is why. Y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. Whenever you are gifted in an area and you operate in your calling and you work it with all the passion and heart that you should do every day when you do something, it exposes other people's inadequacy. <laughs> so let's say you got somebody just making it and everything's falling through and nothing's working right. They're just making it. As soon as you show up and start working with passion and zeal and fervor and vivaciousness, you make them look bad. I remember when I played football and I, I came up, I went to a very large high school, so my high school was only three grades, 10th, 11th, and 12th, because we had so many kids, we couldn't get them all in there. It was just a big, big school. So we were a top level 6A school, had a great football program. When I showed up to spring training as a 10th grader, I came in knocking jokers out. And I remember seniors telling me, you need to settle down. I said, I'm not settling down, I'm trying to take your job. Right. Y'all looking at me so funny. I told you, you ain't gonna outwork me. Even I'd be out there stretching. And I was like, man, it's so hot out here this morning. And you know that dude on the grass with my football players. That early morning dude, two a days, come on, you in that first. And I'd be like, man, I ain't gonna stretch all the way down. Then I would think about that senior that wants to take me out. I was like, I'm gonna stretch it all the way down. I did everything they asked me to do, 110%. And guess what? I was the only I was the only sophomore to be able to play in the rotation with the first team. Why? Because I wouldn't let them stop me. When it was time to run, I tried to outrun everybody. I run until my heart popped out of my chest. Why? Because when you got passion, you expose people who don't really care. Come on. All right, listen, I don't have a lot of talent. I mean, I, I just, y'all think I do, but I ain't got a lot of talent. I'm telling you that right now, but what I do have is heart. Which means what you lack in talent. I, I, I can remember, how many of you remember this, the movie Rudy? Yeah. I remember what the coach said. He said, if I could take your heart and put it in the body of these other athletes, I would have the most incredible player that ever lived. What if you don't have a whole lot of talent, but you got a big heart? You can will your way into success. You can will your way into greatness. Everybody has a limitation, but God will take your limitation and turn it. 